Good morning, folks. We've now had updated coronagraph images from that big plasma filament eruption. We've got updated endal spirals, CME impact predictions from both NASA and NOAA, and we will begin today zoomed in on NASA's endal spiral. Earth is actually the yellow dot in this graphic, and the CME leaving the sun should be fairly obvious as a wave cutting through the Parker spiral of solar wind. From left to right, we look from the north of the sun, an equatorial side cut from trailing Earth's orbit it and from Earth's midnight position. The splash effect on the right side is the best way to tell if Earth is forecasted to receive impact. NASA believes impact will occur midday Wednesday, tomorrow. NOAA is less specific about tomorrow's impact time, and you'll remember that Space Weather News and the Suspicious Observers forecast impact in the first half of the day tomorrow. We expect a max KP of 6, with level 1 storms considered very likely. Folks, we've been on a global seismic alert due to IMF influence from this coronal hole and the coming Mercury-Solar conjunction. The heliocentric aspect triggered that filament release, and last night as it conjoined our star, Greece shook. A strong 6.5 earthquake. Two people are dead. Let's take a look at the OLR anomaly for that region. Focus on the eastern Mediterranean here and see the positive thermal outflow shifting sharply to negative over the last five days. The study continues. We also took a large shake south of the Kamchatka Peninsula. This one hit 6 on many readers, as high as 6.3. So let's come to the last 24 hours on our star and see minor filaments incoming both on the north and on the south amidst the brighter magnetic fields and 171 angstroms of light. When looking at the entire sun and 193 angstroms, we can see that it was a much calmer day on our star. Corona hole is departing, no big CMEs or flashes. Let's come over to spaceweathernews.com and find solar flaring, still letting the filaments and corona holes have their time in the spotlight. The sunspots are not only small and few, but they are not mixing very well magnetically. Solar wind entering a bit of calm itself, CME impact should be easily visible here and in its effect on Earth's magnetic shield, which is quite calm this morning as well. Top article of the day is another one about entanglement. That which makes action at a distance possible also forms the foundations of space-time. Website members, as this OLR quake factor appears here to stay, I'll implore you to check out Deeper Looks 88 and 89 and the latest Fly on the Wall episode from Saturday. We all need to be on the same page when it comes to this pre-earthquake signal. Let's come quickly to weather and whether you weathered wild weather last night. It was wild to watch at the Weather Channel. Many tornadoes cranked out last night and the threat's not over. The power low driving a major temperature swing in the center of the United States is also making horrible storms on the leading eastern edge where warm, moist air crashes into frigid dry air. Finding equilibrium between them takes a lot of energy. We're going to watch the lows drive the weather in Europe and down under, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 545 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.